Okay, today's game brought to us by Connor Electric, Axe Screen and Window Repair, Sushi by Yoshi, Brock Insurance, Cognitive and Coleman Insurance, Cowboys Meat Market, Fasaro's, Don Allen Auto Center, Downey Flake, Varian Masonry, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Harborview Oil Corporation, Nantucket Hawking and Falconry, Humphrey Electric, The Inquirer and Mirror, Island Carpets, Island Lumber, Kitty Murtog, Island Pharmacy, Island Variety, Joe Rapaki CPA, Cam Appliance, Killen Real Estate, Lindsay Incorporated, Ryder Electric, Matica Marine, Hawthorne House. We thank all these fine sponsors for bringing you this playoff game. Remember, if you want to be part of the sponsorship here on Geno TV 99, your business logo and contact playing for six months. 24-7, a free 15-second video ad. That's a $500 value right there, playing for one month, 24-7. Your ad can be used on Facebook and on your website. Just give us a call here, 825-8817. Uh, Co-captains out there, Dennis. It's always good to see one of the opposing co-captains not in uniform. They, so they, they're down one player there. Yeah. And that, that young man is Cole Kissick. So the... Nantucket is receiving, right? And uh, they're going to have the wind in their face. So this is uh, this will be the first test of the wind here. Yeah. Yeah. Cohasset's going to kick off. They're going to have a strong kick. You'd estimate us getting the ball at the 20 or something strange happens. And then Nantucket will have to uh, use their running offense to uh, get the drive going. You're not going to open up throwing the ball. You're going to have to run the ball. No doubt about it. I'd say the wind is about... Uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour, Dick. It's not as uh, strong as we've seen it here before no, no, on that's many true. occasions. That's for darn sure. But it is a factor. All the other tournament action going on. The girls' soccer, they're going to open Tuesday, I believe, against Hull. We don't know the exact time of that yet. It's a day game we right now. Could change the night game. We're, we're going to take a, uh, a short break and be back with Excellent. opening Excellent. kickoff. Sung by Hey, Dick, we're ready to go. We are playing the uh, extra Thank minute, Dennis. Man. I just looked out. The clocks are set at 11. So, tournament play, you play four 11 minute quarters. And that's a, uh, that's a situation right there that's a little bit different. You, you, you don't notice it uh, so much in the first half, but you're going to start noticing in the second half. Uh, Guys are going to be out in the field as you get up up there a little bit longer than they're usually out there. So teams in better shape will be in uh, better better uh, condition to end it. Now I think a factor in this game tonight, Dick, is I think the quarterback here can throw the football. And I, Whalers really haven't been tested uh, by a quarterback, a good throwing quarterback. No, that's for sure. <laughs> so I think the secondary is a good thing to watch. For the attacker. Cohasset lost their two non-league games. We won our two non-league games, but Cohasset won against Rockland and Situa. Yeah. A lot bigger, bigger than uh, Monomoy in uh, Tri County. Absolutely. Set the kick on. All right. For the skippers. I don't think Nantucket's cool. back deep enough there, Dennis. I think it may get over their heads. We'll see. They're only setting up on the 10-yard line. Good. Wow. Yeah. Dick, you, you are so right. I mean, you, you look at the wind, you look at the wind, and you uh, maybe maybe you uh, put your guys in the 10-yard line and tell them, catch it if it comes here. If it doesn't, let it go over your head into the end zone. That one they carried easily into the end zone. They weren't, they weren't going to run that one out. And what the, that's what you're going to see with the wind. So Nantucket, all of a sudden, Dennis, this is a big... First and ten, right here on the twenty. Yeah. If you get a punt the ball from about the twenty-five, yeah. you're in trouble. The Nantucket's got to run their power. They've been running all year and pick up a few first downs. All right, in the I formation, Phillips and uh, uh, Aloisi cutting it up. Aloisi get hard, but he has a good gain, about seven or eight yards. Eight yard run by Aloisi, what do you have? Two hundred seventeen last week. Yeah, he carried the ball twelve times. He came out. Of, he came out of nowhere. He didn't start. Coming back from the concussion two weeks ago, we saw that game where we played a little defense, and then last week he started on defense. Phillips up the middle. Well, that's that's the attack that's bread and butter right there. And they they pretty much done what they had to do. Got the ball out close to midfield on two running plays. Yeah, well, th here again, the, the attacker has a great running game. 
And they come out, they come out quick on that last one. I like that. They get set up and it went quick. And they're gonna throw it. Up the middle. Oh, he dropped the ball. He's saying he's down. Yeah. Ray, the quarterback keeper. I'm not Ray looks like he might be hurt. Oh, he is hurt. Wow. Yeah, this could be a bad situation. Wow. <coughs> that looked like a design run to me, Dennis. I don't think what, he was. Quarterback gonna... draw? Yeah, I think that was a quarterback draw the whole way. Wow. He took a big hit in the middle. Scott's telling us to get hit in the necks, and uh, that's not a good place to get hit. Okay, that is that the backup quarterback coming across the field? JT uh, getting carried off. They're dragging Dennis, and putting your weight this, on his foot. This could be a, not only a game ending injury, this could be a season injury, injury the way he's coming off the field. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of football games over the end. You can tell when a guy is out for a few plays, a guy's out for the game, or a guy's out for a long time. All right, Gambroni is in. My first observation is that's a, that's a long time. Hopefully I'm wrong. Official timeout. So there's official timeout down there, and Cohasset needed any motivation, Dennis. They just got it. It's a devastating. Yeah, we'll see what happens, loss. Dick. Gambroni's pretty good uh, backup. He's, he's a good. Uh, he's a good athlete, right? Good this athlete. Is, the, 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 this is how stars are born. Yeah, absolutely. All my years of coaching games and watching games, I've seen it happen many, many times. All he has to do is manage the offense. And up the middle for Ron Phillips. Big game. And certainly, certainly guys like Phillips and Aloise, you're going to run a little bit stronger now, knowing that uh, their lead is on, uh, on the sideline there, figuring out uh, how bad he is hurt. So first down, Nantucket uh, is probably now, I would say, with the wind, they're probably already in four down territory. Okay, You're got probably the, not going to punt the ball from across the 50. We got power eye formation. Long count. And Aloisi. And he gets a short game. James Aloisi on the run. Maybe a two yard game. Ball rests on the 40, 43, 44 yard line of, of Cohasset. Nantucket has such a tremendous size advantage. Absolutely. That, you know, if you keep putting a 280 pound body on a, a, a 210 pound body in the course of the game, you're going to wear him down. And that's all Nantucket has to do is just keep going out power. And they're going to go with the second man through. That's what oh, he dropped ball. the ball. And Cohasset has turned the ball, got the ball. Keith Lewis dropped the football. Yeah, he, he had the ball, and he t looked like he was going to make a cut of some sort. And uh, as he did, the ball came out. That's my ball! So we've played less than three minutes, Dennis, and we have had disaster, injuries and fumbles. And now Cohasset has great field position and the wind at their back. You said the quarterback can throw. Let's see if uh, that's their uh, option here right off the bat. All right, Danny Axelton is the quarterback. To junior and they're in the eye formation uh, and we got motion to the left and go second man through and he's got the corner pushed out of bounds after about an eight yard game it was number yeah. 32 yeah, Tim Gillis good, good block on the defensive end there by uh, the Cohasset uh, X back I think came out and uh, once that corner was sealed the running back down, showed some pretty good speed, and uh, if he had uh, if he had squared up a little bit quicker, Dennis, he would have been going down the sidelines. Last week, uh, Cohasset defeated Bashby. Gillis again got the first down, 
and yep. more. That was kind of a big score to me. I, I mean, I thought that would be a, a fairly close game, and I, I, I thought Mashby would win it. But, yep. I mean, they just blew them out, right? And that was at Mashby. It was at Mashby. Blew them out. I think it was 27-0, something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> First down. Skipper. So Cohasset is a... Um, a, a very, very good ball club, no well, we, doubt about it. We used it. to play them on a regular basis. Yes, we did. And the games were always close. Towards the end, they... They, uh, well, they just went away from they us. They ran away from us, and we had to drop them from the schedule. They were a common non-league opponent for many years. And we're going to go with a sweep. Gillis up the middle. And... Run play stopped by Phillips again. No extra... Little extra hitting there. Oh, no, this, that was a. This would be the perfect time to throw, Dennis. Yeah, second down and. They, they got the wind. They have run the ball successfully for a first down and now a second and about six. Nantucket uh, will be playing the run. Okay, we have a slot right and. And they're going to go with the, with the option. Put you up by Nantucket, smelling it out. And they gained about uh, no gain, maybe a yard. Quarterback decided to keep it there. I would have pitched it. Of course, it's easy for me to say, right? Oh, yeah. Standing up here. <coughs> so we got third down and about five. Are they in, in four in down? Andrew Ray, Andrew Ray is up and uh, running on the sideline. Though. He just ran down to the golf cart. Maybe he's going up. All right, he ran down to the golf cart, though. That's a good sign. And got in, and now maybe he's going up to for a, uh, I don't know what he would be going up for, but he, he ran anyway. Oh, we got a motion, I believe. Gillis on the run. Flag on the play. What do we got? That'll be against uh, Cohasset. That'll Five make it third penalty. and long. That will be a passing situation. We're here in the first quarter, portion of the first quarter, brought to us by Brock Insurance. Wishes each and every student the best school year. Brock Insurance is here to provide you all your insurance needs. Brings up third down and 10 to 0104. Don Allen Auto Centers makes and models service. Customer Quick Lane State Inspections. Don Allen. 50 50 here, Dennis. Third down and 10. Nice job. Good job there, knocking him down. Can you, uh, can you let me five? You five for me? Play any chance? Yeah. Fourth <laughs> down. Beautiful coverage by Keenan Phillips. A nice hit there at the end of the play. Keenan Phillips, Scott tells us, made that hit at the end of the play. We're, we're uh, absorbed with the 50 50 Scott. So. <laughs> We're gonna have to mic you up, and you're gonna have to take over the rest, the rest of this transaction. Stay on task. <laughs> Those are yours. Thank Quick you. kick. Surprisingly, it's a kick into the end zone, and uh, they pick up about 23 yards in that. The 20 yard line. Thank you, Jan. Huh? Are you you are you going to doing 50 50? Dennis, Andrew Ray just came upstairs here. I'm going to just slide over there see what's going on. Andrew Ray's in here. Okay, we got first down and 10 for the Whalers. Gambroni still in a quarterback. Quinn Town came in the game. He's starting at left end. We got a Full house backfield, power eye, and the ball goes to Aloisi, who's hit right away. No game. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing game. Okay, Andrew Ray is in the, uh, Andrew Ray. Uh, so we got second down and 10, Dick. Andrew's in the uh, trainer's room, trainer's checking on. Seems to be his left knee. Ooh. And, uh, he doesn't look too happy, and I don't know if that's because he's not in the game or because he's hurting. All right, here we go, second and ten. And nothing much there. So we got third down and about seven. 
Wow, this is a big, big third down here because 4.42 to go here in the first quarter and you're into the wind. If you don't pick up seven here, you've got to punt it from this situation and you're not going to get a lot of Kohasa distance. is stacking about nine in the box. This is a perfect time to throw the football. Perfect time to throw. They, they're, they're going to gamble. They don't know much about this quarterback. We don't know much about this quarterback. We haven't seen him play that much. So they're going to gamble that this guy can't throw and then they're going to bring the nine guys up. Right. Look at how close they are. And they're going to go with the sweep. Right inside, Aloise, he's got it. Got the corner. And got the first down. Big run by Aloisi, Dennis. And that's a huge first down for the Whalers. And Aloisi comes out of the game. Aloisi got a little dinged on the end of that, huh? I think he's holding his shoulder. First down and 10 for the Whalers, so they're moving the football. Nice run by Aloisi. Nantucket Airlines, we're all about the islands. Go Whalers, Nantucket Airlines. Keenan Phillips is overdue. Keenan is going to get his chance now with Aloisi on the bench. And oh, mix up. Does, wow, loses about four yards. Keenan may be overdue, but you got to know the plays. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> That's the, the first thing when you go in there, know the plays. And it was a mix-up on that one. Came in an inopportune town. Anytime you have a mix-up, it's inopportune. But very we got a timeout. We have a timeout on the field. Oh, well, we have this timeout before we get back into football. Let's go over the uh, other activities we're talking about. Uh, girls soccer, they're the three seed. They're going to get a uh, home game. I believe it's with Howell on Tuesday. The game right now is set for our afternoon, but I'm, I'm hearing that Howell doesn't want to leave school, so we're a long way to travel here. They have to leave school real early to get over here for 2 o'clock, a 2.30 game. They may be switched to a night game. Keep tuned to that. The boys are also a number three seed. They can draw a bye on their Tuesday game because there's only, I think, 11 or 12 teams that uh, made it in Division uh, 3 South. So they're going to play the winner of the Westport Upper Cape game on Thursday. And we don't know a time on that one yet. And the girls' uh, field hockey team went away today. We saw them play the other day. They 16 seed beating Mashby, a 17 seed 2-1 to one for the third time this year. They went up to Dennis and played the number one seed of Pontiquet today. And they lost one to nothing in wow. overtime. 0-0 oh. zero, zero tie with the number one team. And then a Pontiquet score in the 30-minute overtime. Okay, here we go. The second down in about 12, and Phillips, and there's not much there for him. As long as Phillips wasn't going down there, Pontic was, I mean, uh, Kohasa was swinging uh, their fist at the ball trying to get it out again. They already have one fumble recovery. Yeah, they were, that was a game of about three. Whenever you get to a tournament play, Dennis, at any level, high school, college, pros, the battle of turnovers usually tells the outcome of the game. Absolutely, no you, doubt you about it. You don't win too many games without winning the battle of turnovers. Right now, Cohasset's one up. up on All right, here turnovers. we go. we got a third down and about a third and long. And we're in the high formation, going to go with the sweep. And Aloisi, let's get to the corner, but not enough. It's going to be a fourth down. Yeah, there was too many. Uh, and here's where special teams comes in, Dick. Be able to snap it and punt it. Kohass is going to call a timeout here. I thought the clock was winding down. Still plenty of time left in this quarter. 216 left. But, uh, that's a good timeout for Kohass because he can talk to uh, his captain, who he's doing out there, 54, but he also saves some time for when he gets the ball back. He's going to have an extra 40 seconds with the wind at his back when he gets the ball. He knows, he knows he's getting the ball back unless Nantucket uh, does a fake here, which is highly unlikely. Boy, I'll tell you, look at number, look at number uh, Gambroni out here. Back to front to Nantucket, and Justin Halford. I'm could, not saying it can't could. happen, but it's highly unlikely that Nantucket would try a fake in this position. Yeah, they're going to punt it. And the ball's going to go up in the air, and they're going to get away. There we go. 
Oh, that goes at about over here with yelling and screaming, get away from the ball. Yeah, that goes at about a 16 yard yeah, punt. Yeah, yeah, you're crazy to go near it at that point. You know, the, if, if you can catch that in the air, that's one thing. But when it only goes, it went, it went about 14 in the air, and then it took a two uh, yard roll forward for about a 16 yarder. And that's about the best you can get in a game like this, unless you have the, the knack. And some kids have the knack of keeping the ball low and, and, and hitting a line drive one. Once you put it up in the air like that, then you saw the air just, wind just stopped it dead. Okay, here we go. First down and 10 for Cohasset. Great field position on the 49 yard line. Of and Cohasset. they have they have the wind at their back for another two minutes and six seconds. I formation. Split split left. And they're gonna throw it. And he's going way deep. There's the win there, Dennis. He uh, he just overthrew him. I think I think the Gohasset uh, receiver though stopped and see where the ball was. Yeah. You, you just got to keep running today if you're going going with the wind because yeah, that absolutely. ball's going to carry. Second and ten, skippers. Well, Hassett had the underneath man open, Dennis. I was watching him. Right. He come out here and he, he did, we used to call it the old button hook. I, right. When's the last time you heard that? But he, he was open eight yards. Nobody was around him. He opted to go down the field. All right. Here we go. The line up again. And they're going to run the option. No, nothing. They're going to say he's down. He's down. They're going to say he's down. That's a break for... Nate Leibowitz uh, on the tackle. Number 15 for the Antarctic. So we got third down and Cohasset's going backwards. That's a break for uh, Cohasset there. Because the ball came out, but the ball came out on the contact on the ground. The ground cannot cause a fumble. However, brings up third down and 15 for your new second win. Cohasset went 15, so yeah, they went backwards. They're gonna have to ear it out here. Who was that? The, was that going to be an option? Yeah, he was going to run the option. Yeah, he, he doesn't run just, it very well. Just, yeah, he just got smothered there. It, yeah, he, you're right. He doesn't run that very well at all. And we go through it. And pass rush gets for him. Number 72. Orlando he, Francis. Woo, the big guy. He was stopped in the backfield by the Orlando big guy with the sack. 72. Francis Orlando. So they're not in the uh, quick kick. For the Antarctic 23, Devon Phillips, Travis Gendon. And this punt that's going to be fielded. There he goes, Keenan Phillips. And he is hit drop. And then Tucker's going to have the ball at about the 34. You want to see your son? Gambroni out there for the, the second series. Yeah, and uh, he's the quarterback for the rest of the game, Dennis. If you look over your shoulder, we can see that Mr. Ray is not going to go back into this game today. Yeah. All right, up the middle, Devon Phillips got an opening. Got an opening. Breaks what a tackle. cut. What a cut by Phillips. And he's dropped. Gets to about the 25 yard line. Yeah, Nantucket, uh, Nantucket needed that boy. Now they're in four down territory and even, well, they're gonna get the win back here shortly anyways. Even, uh, uh, not, not back, they're gonna get the win for the first time today. First is Sam Nantucket from the skipper 27 yard line. There was a timeout on the field, Nantucket. 
The Nantucket takes a timeout with 11.9 to go. Portion today's game brought to us by Island Variety. Right, it's just not the spice of life. Today is Halloween. Check, check Island Variety for your after Halloween su uh, supplies. You can find candy half price card. You can run over there and get bags of M and M's for 99 cents. <laughs> Scott likes the M&M's. Like That's all we need is bags of M&M's. Yeah. I, I, Dennis, when I mentioned Halloween, Scott got very excited there. I, I think uh, I think as soon as this game's over, he's he's booking it someplace else. Me and you are going to go home and put our slippers on and sit in the couch, but I don't think Scott's going to do that. I may do, I may do that, Dick. You don't know. All right, here we go. Up the middle. Phillips is hit right away. Hand off to Kevon Phillips. Yeah, if, uh, if you're going to stop Phillips, that's where you got to stop him, right at the line of scrimmage. Once he gets past that line of scrimmage, Dennis, he can make cuts and he can do a lot of funny things and uh, cause people to miss. So we have played one quarter here at Vito Capizzo Stadium. It's a score Nantucket 0, Cohasset 0. How you doing?